Good day guys, Theo here again. Out and about to grow the coffee experience. Now today's vlog is all about coffee on the go. To see if we can make coffee anywhere we want to. Check this out. Do I take the easy road out or do I take the hill climb rocky road? No matter what road I take, coffee we shall have. Let's go rocky! Some of you guys love coffee as much as I do. And at the same time, you like going on these adventurous trips into mountains or going hiking, taking your dogs for a walk, whatever, going to the beach. Whichever one of those you prefer to do, there's always a type of coffee for you. Now, the nice thing about coffee for me is that coffee kind of reveals one's personality. If you drink instant coffees, you like life, but you like things easy. You like things to just go your way. If you drink proper bean coffee, it's like you're willing to work harder for what you want in life. So if you really appreciate a good cup of coffee, like proper, you take the beans, you grind them down, you wait that three and a half to four and a half to, if you're really into strong coffee, five and a half minutes for that perfect brew, then I can kind of predict great success in your life. Because a good quality coffee takes hard work, it takes perseverance, it takes commitment, and it takes patience to make that perfect cup. So if you've never experienced proper speciality coffee before, go and try it out. You never know, you might like it. Now the mocha pot is an extremely nice little coffee brewing method to take on your adventures. It's small, it's compatible. The mocha pot express uh, is called the Birletti mocha. Now Alfonso Birletti is the guy that invented this in 1933 because he needed coffee while traveling and he needed coffee quick but he wanted proper espresso so he invented this little pressurized espresso brewing method to make a beautiful espresso without the espresso machine amazing now all you need for this brewing method is grinded coffee beans a flame and of course some water that's literally all you need to make a beautiful espresso cup of coffee. Now because we live in 2018, I've got this gorgeous little 
Bunsen burner with a little stand so I don't need to make a fire. I just pop this in here. Open it up. So this is the filter where your coffee goes in and this is where your water goes in. I need just enough for one espresso. Then of course the filter goes in. And depending on how strong you want your coffee, that will define how much coffee you're gonna pour in there. But uh, I just like a nice, smooth, very tasteful, sweet espresso. So I'm using the Burundi pea berry from the Mutana Hill. And um, this is raspberry, strawberry, lime blossom and grapefruit on the palate. It's gorgeous. Pop it on there and get it on. And then of course, if it's slightly windy like it is right now, try and protect your flame. Otherwise this thing will take forever. Now the very best part for me about this is the fact that you don't really need a cup. You could actually drink it out of this, but if you've got fairly strong hands, if you undo the top section, you take out the coffee grinds you pour out the last bit of water from the bottom bit pour some cold water into it obviously to cool it down and to kind of rinse it Then I pour the espresso into the bottom bit and I enjoy it from a cup. Mm. Beautiful raspberry coffee espresso. How gorgeous is that? Now if you are in the Pretoria area and you would like to try a mocha pot but you don't have one, come down to Kapo Cafe and we'll make one for you so that you can enjoy the adventurous coffee in the shop. Now, if you guys enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, I appreciate you still watching. Please do tell me in the comments below what your favorite cup of coffee or your favorite brewing method is and please subscribe and we'll see you on the next episode